Well, my vocation story, I think, began when I was just a very young boy. Um, I had great uh, good fortune to be involved in just musical life of the parish, simply because my mother was, and uh, that's been a, a kind of a, a thread through all my kind of life. And I think through the music and being involved in the liturgy, I developed a, just a love for it and then a curiosity about um, the priesthood generally as a result of that. And over the years became, uh, met people who encouraged me to find out more. And uh, I found myself then going to the vocation retreats that were organized from school. And uh, uh, that was, I suppose, the hook that got me interested. And at one stage I was considering doing something else, uh, studying law as it turned out. But then I decided in my upper sixth year, look, if I don't give this a, a chance now, I might, might regret it, might, might not follow it up. So um, I think it was, it was music, it was curiosity, it was the people I met, and then going and finding out a little bit more about it myself. Uh, and I found that I was very happy in that environment and uh, um, stayed and continued. And uh, that has brought me to, to where I am. At the moment, I'm administrator of uh, the parish of Ballyclare and Ballygar, and I've been there for the last 11 years. Uh, so I must be doing something right. <laughs> and, but I'm also, I've been involved for the last 21 years working in the, the marriage tribunal, because I, uh, I did go and study law, as it turned out, uh, uh, after I had uh, been ordained, studied canon law, and its most practical use is in that environment. Uh, now, there you meet people whose, whose marriages have sadly ended, for one reason or another, uh, and you meet people at a very vulnerable time in their lives, and for many of them it's the first time that they speak about their, their experience, and they find, it, they find it helpful. And I am hoping, I hope that uh, the people when they come to the tribunal find people who are, well, compassionate, listening. We may not have all the answers, in fact we don't claim to have any of the answers, but we, we do do our best to help in whatever way we can. And uh, some people do receive, you know, degrees of nullity annulments at the end, they, then that helps them to journey into a, a new chapter in their lives. Others, that doesn't work out that way, but they nevertheless, you know, the vast majority of them um, understand that and, and uh, whilst it's painful, they're very, I, I'm amazed by their hero, heroism and their fidelity and their humanity. Um, that's one of the things that it's taught me in life and it's taught me also great patience. We have to be patient. Uh, we're, we're impatient, maybe for the best of reasons, but it's one, one virtue that it has taught me, uh, to be patient and wait, wait on the Lord at times. In around 2008, we were approached out of the blue by uh, Sony, who wanted to, uh, one priest to uh, help them make a record of religious music. They found Martin, David and myself, and having heard the three of us who had been singing together for, since we were boys, at school and uh, in seminary in, in both the St Joseph's, the wing, here in Belfast and then at, later on in Rome. Uh, when they heard us sing, they said, God, we'd like to park that pro programme and make, a, make an album with you guys. So uh, at that stage we thought, well, this is a wonderful opportunity and uh, we'd always wanted to kind of, you know, capture our voices before we would get too old. Uh, and. Um, it went, it, it just mushroomed by, out of all proportions beyond our wildest dreams and brought us to, a, to, a, to audiences all over the world. I mean, Ireland, England, America, Australia, Italy. Um, and it's been fascinating. It's been a wonderful opportunity then to present ourselves as who and what we are, ordinary priests, um, but with you know, the great gift that God has given us and to use it simply uh, for his glory and uh, also a gentle form, a very gentle form of evangelization. Uh, we're not out to uh, convert the world, but uh, again, like my own story, people find music uh, a bridge uh, and a place where they can safely meet uh, and, uh, and cross over and find out more just about uh, faith, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, priesthood and uh, we have found it immensely positive and, and, and affirming.